Hey, what's up? In this video, we're gonna implement promise all. And so, what we need to do? Uh, we need to write our own all, uh, which should work the same as promise all. And we we need to not use promise all directly. Okay, let's start. Uh, promise all should return promise, so we need to return new promise promise and resolve reject new array oh uh, yep and we need to create a, a result array where we can uh, uh, collect our results const result equal array okay and now uh, we need to check if promises is not empty array and if it's empty we should return we should uh, resolve with uh, empty array okay if promises length equal zero um, we call function resolve with result result is equal empty array and call return so what next next we need to use for each for traverse our promises for each row promise and now now uh, we know what uh, promises it's array but uh, every element each element in this array can be not promise can be string or something like this so we need to wrap our um, our element into promise resolve and it will work for us we use promise resolve resolve or resolve promise and if it's promise it will return insert in promise resolve promise and it will uh, work and if promise it's uh, empty string or null or uh, some string or integer it will return to then our integer or something like or something else okay and uh, what we need to do we need to insert our result in our value value into our result in which position in correct position okay we can use index to insert in to insert in correct position uh, our value value variable and uh, uh, and 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 if uh, this one of these promises will be rejected we just need to call reject yes reject uh, and we need to understand we need to know where when we should call our result function with our result or our result function resolve function with our result array and for this we create new one um, variable let's call count ending for example and it will be equal promises length yes and when one of promises was resolved we should minus do minus minus do decrement and uh, check if count of pending pending i don't know if it's correct pending pen pending 
One second. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's correct. Okay, if uh, count painting is equal zero, uh, we need to call our result function with result. Result. Okay. Uh, count pending. So let's check. If promises, we have promises array, return promise, result if promises array length equals zero, resolve with empty array, okay. Uh, set count pending promises. And now we go through, through array, each, get each element and pass into promise resolve. Mm. Then result of promise we insert into result array. And decrement, uh, decrement the variable pending, count pending and uh, check if count pending is equal zero we call resolve result okay uh, if promise is correct promise then yes if promise uh, was rejected uh, we call reject uh, and uh, it will work. Let's check. Yeah, it's work. Okay, thank you guys.